Hi, this is Gary Kay. We are here at ISE 2018. Uh, this is the final setup day. That's why I'm wearing a jacket. Uh, I saw Peter Coleman, uh, the managing director of InDesign. Peter, how are you? I'm great. Thanks, Gary. Yourself? I'm doing well, doing well. He's based out of Australia. You probably could tell a little bit from the accent yeah, there. Yeah. Um, first off, tell them what you do. Um, we're a technology design and consultancy company uh, based in Australia. And they do more than just AV. They do uh, design, you do acoustics, you do IT, you do AV, you do yeah. a little bit of everything. Yeah. And you're really on the forefront of some of the new technology. Tell me what you're expecting to get out of ISE 2018. Well, mainly for me, it's, it's actually catching up with a lot of the, um, a lot of the vendors mm -hmm. and the manufacturers and just seeing you know, what's the latest technology that they're uh, bringing out. Um, in particular, voice. We're really excited to see yeah. what, what these companies, especially Crestron, are doing with voice. Yeah. yeah. And what are you expecting uh, as far as AV over IP? Is that a big area that you're seeing in Australia right now and in, in your area of the world? And what do you what do you hear to see about AV and over IP? Are you still a kind of a wait and see kind of thing with that? No, no, no absolutely. Like, at, back home, um, I think Australia is pretty much at the forefront at, yeah. at using uh, latest technologies, in, in particular AV over IP. Uh, we've recently completed a, um, a project. Um, with Crestron NVX, which went really, really well. Uh -huh. And we're seeing more and more clients wanting to go down that path, in particular university clients. And how do you make a decision over the 10 gig versus 1 gig system? Because you mentioned the Crestron, it's a 1 gig system. Yeah. Why not use a 10 gig or what, what, what made you choose one over the other? Look, 10 gig is definitely my preference. So I, I actually, um, you know, we've seen companies like Lightware and so on bringing yeah. out 10 gig solutions, which I think is the way it needs to be. Um, so I think it's only a matter of time before Crestron and some of these other manufacturers actually, uh, you know, sort of bring out their 10 gig solution. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you as well. And I guess somewhat has to do with the application. I mean, if you're not, if, 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 if picture quality isn't the primary concern, one gig is working in a lot of applications, obviously, if it's simplicity and using the existing network. Uh, one last question. Um, so what other shows, if you, you were giving advice for, for companies, obviously you made a long trip to come here from Australia sure. to, to ISC. A lot of people from North America and a lot of people from Asia still aren't coming to ISC. You obviously believe they should be here. Uh, what, do you agree with that and uh, why? Yeah, look, I, I think ISC is one of the uh, the best AV shows, if not the best AV show in the industry. Um, personally, I would rather come here than, than go to Infocom, mainly because you get that European influence. You get that design flair yeah. that you don't really see over, over in the US so for me um, it's a bigger show it's four days I get to see I pretty much everyone yeah. and uh, as I said I, I just think that it, it's a lot more diverse than what you'll find over in the US you gotta fi follow him on uh, on LinkedIn he's got some great advice and he talks about some really cool projects uh, Peter C O M A N uh, on LinkedIn uh, his company's in design based out of Australia this is Gary K thanks for watching we'll see you We've got a lot to cover here at ISE 2018 you can see all of our coverage at raypubs.com